Oski Skadoski, hey guys, it's uh, wiring day for my solar panels, which is the day after, it was yesterday I put them up, so I'm going to start running you through how to wire these bad boys up, well how I wire them anyway, there's probably better ways to do it, I don't know what, I don't know if there is, this is the way I do it and it works for me, but, ooh, excuse me, so, here they are above me. Let's get cracking into it, eh? Righto, so we'll come over here to my extremely messy workbench where I've got no space left and show you some of the components we're going to be having to use today. So, two, two of the main ones are bus bars because you need something good to connect. If I can get this open one hand. Yeah, got it. Anyway, these are what all your solar panels will be connected into. So you can get these. Well, I bought these from JCar. Um, it's an electronic store in Australia here. Um, if you're overseas, I don't know any electronic store should sell these. Otherwise, worst case scenario, go online. You'll find them online. Um, so yeah, they're just basically a copper or brass bar with lots of holes in it and screw tabs so you can connect all your wires into it. So we've got this array, I'll be connecting up eight panels, even though there's nine panels there. Uh, what you've got to look out for, because this is the charge controller I'm using, and we want to do a 24 volt system because my battery bank is 24 volts. So what you need to do is look on the side and you find that here. So what these numbers tell you is if you want to run a 12 volt system, so if you want this charge controller to put out 12 volts, basically you want to be sitting around 520 watts. Um, don't want to go above the 10 foot. I found you can go over the, what the number they state there. So you can go over 520 watts, but as soon as you go over 1040 here, it'll step up to 24 volt. So you want to stay under 1040 if you want to do a 12 volt circuit, whereas I'm doing a 24 volt circuit. So basically, I want to stick under 1560. So with eight panels at 190 watts, um, I have to do the math. We're at 1520 with eight panels, so just under the 1560 mark. So if we go any more panels, it's going to step up to 36 volts, and we don't want that. So unfortunately, I can't use a ninth panel in the array, in this array. But that's all right because I'll use that to run a 12 volt circuit down here in the workshop just for charging batteries and whatnot. So I won't go to waste, but yeah, we'll be connecting eight panels up and that'll keep under that 15, that'll be 1520. So keep under that wattage so we can do a 24 volt circuit back to the battery bank. Um, if that all makes sense to you, that's how you got to work out how many panels you can wire up, and obviously. That's how I've done with, you've probably questioned what, how, how have I done with so many panels around this place, basically lots of these. You just basically got to do separate circuits. So you got to have one array running to a box of 20, so I think I've got, this will be the fourth, the fourth charge controller. I've got three charge controllers running at the moment because of how many solar panels I've got. And then I'm adding this one and it'll be in fourth charge controller all putting 24 volts out. You can do it with other charge controls that'll handle more um, panels, but then you've got also the problem of if you mix matching pa panels, which I am, mix matching panels, um, which I am, you basically, um, you can't do that because if you find, if you, if you run like say different brand panels together or it's more so much different brand panels, it's more so different wattages, um, so if you're on like say 250 watt panels with 190 watt panels, you won't say if you it's hard to put an explanation. So if you had say if you had four 190 watt panels and you had one 250 watt panel and you thought fuck yeah I'll just add them all together, you would actually get more power out of the four 190 watt panels than you would out of the five panels all together because because of different wattages, they don't like to work together and it sort of drags the other ones down and I don't know, they just don't like it. So basically, you got to keep all the same watt panels together to get a efficient system. So if you mix massing second-hand panels, basically that's why it's good to get 
a big bulk amount at one time. Don't go and get one here, one there, one there, and one there, two there. Just get a bulk amount like I have. Like I've got an eight, which is why that's obviously it was a 24 volt system this came out of, which it would be because it's a, it's a, it, would, it came out of a grid tight system. So yeah, your grid tight systems usually run 24 volt. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so basically keep your same panels together, group them with separate charge controllers and you should be right because you can always have its charge controllers putting out the same current as it anything, whereas your panels will be doing different things and I'm probably confusing you now so I'm going to stop rambling. But yeah, anyway, that's the charge controller explained. So that's the circuit we're doing and then obviously with your bus bars, um, each panel, so you have a, a positive and a negative bus bar, um, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So we've got eight um, slots. You could, if you really wanted to, you could put sixteen, but I like to put a good wire right through two of them, so I guess a nice, good, strong connection. Um, so yeah, so obviously all your negatives go into here of each panel, so and then all your positives go into here. So each panel goes into this and then you have your two cables that come down and those two cables then run over to the charge controller and then from the charge controller it has the two cables that go down to your battery bank and then from the battery bank it goes to your inverter so yeah that's all the theory done guys so now let's get into some actual wiring um, I'll try and film as much as I can so you can see what I'm doing, um, but obviously I'm one man show again. I do actually have a mate coming around today, not to help me just as a visit, but um, again, I'm impatient, so I'm gonna start doing this shit now, because I've got stuff I've got to do today. But yeah, let's get into it. So one thing I don't have, which is a little dodgy, is I don't have the proper solar connectors. So what I'm doing instead is I've got me one of these, and I'm just gonna cut them off in sections of two, and that's going to be my wire joiners. So a temporary solution have to be, you really should use proper solar connectors. So don't really go doing this. But this is just what I'm doing today <laughs> to get it working. So yeah, just keep that as a disclaimer. Righto, so to keep things nice and tidy, I've screwed those little connectors to the rafters. All except for that one there, which the wires are too short. But you can see up there, up there, all screwed to the rafters. So I can then just run the cables along and zip tie them to the panels to keep the looms all nice because I've got to run a loom up there and along there, and a loom up there and along there, then down the pole, to which I'm gonna have my bus bars and again. You really should have a plastic junction box to put these in, which I don't have at the moment. I, I will. <laughs> I really, this is a lot of video of like what you should do, what, what I do versus what you should do. But anyway, what I'm going to do is just screw them to a piece of timber in the meantime. And that bit of timber is just going to get screwed to the pole. Just here. So it'll just get screwed to the pole so the looms will come down. And then I can put them all into the bus bars and then those cables can go down there and I can run through conduit on the ground to the shed or the bathroom. Well, not the bathroom, it's the cupboard behind the bathroom, the battery bank. So, yeah, we'll get cracking to that, eh? I'll see you in a bit when I've got all the looms done. So. All right, so it's a couple of days later. I didn't finish wiring up the other day, but, um, Still the same video, but I've got six of the panels wired up now, and I've run out of connectors, so that's just going to have to do for now. But six is enough to give me 24 volts, so that'll do for now, and I'll connect up the other two ones in a later date, and then I'll connect the ninth one up with the 12 volt at another later date. But we'll just show you what I've done here, because this is enough to show you how to do things. So we'll turn the camera around. So here we go. So as you can see... Like I said, you should really use proper solar connectors. I haven't got any at the moment, so I'm just using these little normal connectors. So I got all I do is just run each individual one down to 
the bus bars here so you can see I've got six panels so we've got one two three four five six so that's all the positive and that's all the negative um, and then you can see there's two more to go because we've got two more panels of wire into it but yeah I've tried to run them relatively neatly if you can see so we just got nice looms and I've zip tied them along the panels there so there's no dangly wires about I've got to probably tie that to the beam a bit better but yeah and then once I've got them all wired up I'll get these wires here tidied up into a nice loom and then I'll probably encase this in an actual box like an actual proper um, plastic junction box because it's not really supposed to be open like that either but that's some more wide ups. Like I said, I do it. I think you can run them in strings of three. I'm not too sure because there's a maximum voltage your charge controller can take. But just to keep things simple, I always run them in parallel with each other. So each individual one goes down to the bus bars. So there's no joining the panels together in a series. They all just individually go to the bus bars. And that should be, the panel's put out about 45 volts, I think, from memory. So how much we got here? We should have, if I can get one-handed. Yeah. 40 volts. 40.3. So that's what we're getting through at the moment. Which is plenty. So... Yeah, I don't think there's much more I can show you here. So what we're going to do now is I've got to run the sink. So all the all the panels are going to this. Now I've got to run a single cable, so the positive and negative, single cable, all the way over to the bathroom over there to run into my charge controller. And then the charge controller's got to run into my battery bank. So I'll be showing you that next. So I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, so she's more or less done now, um, minus the conduit and junction box and proper <laughs> solar connectors, um, but it's connected up and it's all wired up so you can see how it's done. Obviously there's some things I've got to go back and do and change to make it more legit but, um, and safe, but it works for now, so we'll show you how I've done. Alright, so obviously I've got to get connectors to go into there. But I've just got the main line going to here for now. So this is the line that runs down to the shed. So we'll follow it. It's going to be in conduit. Don't worry. It's not going to be just laying on the ground forever. I just want to get it laid just to make sure everything's working right before I put conduit. Because the pain in the arse. See, there's a conduit right there. I'm not lying. <laughs> but anyway, it runs down into here. Um, and here's the charge controller. So that's the solar panels just run... Connected into there, it's the solar section, and then you can see we're pumping out about 560 watts at the moment from that array. Um, and then we've got these two cables just run down here through the wall into my battery bank, which is around here. And I've got more bus bars here, you can see this spaghetti mess of cables but they run to those bus bars and then from those bus bars it runs into the battery bank here which is a little small at the moment i had to go and delete about four batteries out of it this morning because um they were reading below 10 volts and dragging the system down so unfortunately it looks like i'm down four batteries but i've got them on trickle charge to see if they are um, able to be salvaged one's definitely fucked but there's another one on trickle charge at the moment, which looks like it might be all right. So I might not lose all four, which would be good. But yeah, this is my battery bank at the moment. Um, but yeah, so that's more or less how you do everything. I don't know what more I can show you. Um, obviously, I could show you everything done properly, like the cable on the ground going through conduit and being buried. The proper, again, I'm going to reinforce, use proper wire connectors. Like, don't use these, these type I've used work. Obviously, like any wire connector will work, but um, to do this properly, you need to have sealed solar connectors, um, not just little white screw connectors, but they work. So the system's gone. That's the rough idea of how you do it. I might have another video in the future of everything being done a little bit more legit, but that's how you get things working. So, yeah.
basically, I think I've ran through enough times by now. If you've got any questions, just ask me in the comments. Like I said, I'm not an electrician by any means. I'm just a, I'm just a man who just decided to go off grid. And I learnt this all myself through basically watching YouTube, essentially, and just tinkering. So um, that's how I've done it. But it's working. We've got some more solar pumping now. I've got to finish connecting up all those panels. I'm going to get some more connectors, proper connectors. So it'll be all eight connected up. But there's six connected for now, and it's working. I've got some extra power. So, yeah. I'll um, leave it at for this one. I think it's gone long enough. But, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one, eh? Um, oh, a little update on the bore. I am doing that bore, but I can't get the auger for a while. It's got to be ordered in, so... It'll be a couple more months before that one starts, unless I can find a different auger. But, um, yeah, there's that. But, now yeah, you've learned how to do some solar here now, so, yeah, not too bad. I'll catch you later. I'm rambling. <laughs> Bye. Like and subscribe.